The real reason Tesla developed Project Redwood. Presently, there is an issue with the electric vehicle EV revolution. We are constantly bombarded with news reports that demonstrate the decline in EV sales, the inadequacy of the charging infrastructure, and the precipitous decline in consumer confidence. The electric car is the subject of a great deal of dread, uncertainty, and doubt, and to a certain extent, this media-driven panic party is justified. The majority of legacy manufacturers' handling of the EV transition reveal a shocking level of incompetence which has left a bad impression on the consumer. However, a solution exists. Tesla initiated the EV revolution and is now poised to preserve it. Tesla's Objective Construction of the most significant electric vehicle in history To accomplish this, they are constructing the most significant electric vehicle ever produced. Below is an explanation of how that operates. The genuine rationale behind Tesla's development of a $25,000 electric vehicle, EV, also known as a Model 2, Project Redwood, or whatever name you prefer, is that Tesla was aware of the eventual outcome in 2024. The tide of EV adoption began to crest and fall back far too soon, as Tesla observed. This is because virtually every other automobile manufacturer in the United States has already indicated that they have no intention of treating this matter seriously. It is possible to argue that they were intentionally undermining the EV industry by making half-hearted attempts to introduce electric versions of vehicles that they had already manufactured that were wildly impractical. For example, the Hummer EV. What is the benefit of this? Who requested that? It is the most inefficient electric vehicle ever produced. Please retain this information for future reference. Reason number one, enhancing access to high-quality electric vehicles. Okay, so if the genuine reason number one was to increase the availability of electric cars that are not subpar, the authentic reason number two is that no automaker, not even Tesla, will be able to survive in the long term if they are unable to produce a competitive and affordable product for the global market. Consider this example. Ford has recently disclosed that it is developing an electric vehicle priced at $25,000. This is because they have finally recognized a fact that Tesla has been aware of for years. The Chinese are on the way. We have discovered that Ford has established a small skunk works team, which is comprised of their most talented designers and engineers. Alan Clark, a senior engineer who previously worked for Tesla on the Model Y, is the team's leader. Ford recently hired Clark to aid in the restructuring of their electric division, which is currently suffering from significant losses. The new $25,000 EV project is currently in the process of development at a specialized site in Irvine, California, which is located a considerable distance from the Ford Motors headquarters. This team is striving to achieve what Ford has yet to accomplish, the production of an electric vehicle that generates a profit. Last month, it was disclosed that Ford Motors suffered a total loss of $4.7 billion in 2023 as a result of its electric vehicle, EV operations. As much as $47,000 is reported to be average loss of a single Mustang Mach-E unit. This is the negative balance resulting from the sale of a car. It exceeds the initial price. It is absurd. Ford's most promising strategy for halting the hemorrhaging is this new compact EV initiative. The company even ceased the development of a large, three-row electric SUV and allocated the resources to its $25,000 platform. What was particularly intriguing was that Ford CEO Jim Farley cited the competition from China as one of the primary reasons for his company's pursuit of a smaller and more affordable electric vehicle platform. He specifically cited the new BYD Seagull, a diminutive four-door hatchback manufactured in China with a starting price of less than $10,000 US. Farley described the Seagull as pretty damn good and issued a cautionary tale that any automaker that is unable to compete with Chinese products shortly may lose as much as 30% of their global revenue. Currently, I understand your perspective. BYD is not a competitor, they are subpar, etc. Certainly, that may be the case in the United States, However, it is important to remember that there is a vast, interconnected world beyond the United States, and they will welcome inexpensive Chinese automobiles with open arms. They will purchase these items in droves, and the only way for anyone to compete with them is to surpass them at their own game, reduce the size, reduce the cost, and improve the quality. Reason number two, efficiency and profitability. Competing with China is commendable. However, I would like to reiterate the importance of generating revenue through the sale of a vehicle. You do not have to be Jeff Bezos to comprehend that profitability is an indispensable component of an effective enterprise. Before the company can even consider being competitive in the long term, it must cease undermining itself. Ford is currently reversing its course concerning electric vehicles as they have terminated a full-size, seven-seater SUV project to develop a significantly smaller vehicle. They are asserting that the new compact platform will also be capable of accommodating a small pickup vehicle design. 
Ford has already reduced its production targets for the F-150 Lightning by 50% for 2024, essentially abandoning the vehicle. Tesla has been aware of this for an extended period. Larger vehicles and electrification are not compatible. Certainly, Tesla has produced a few substantial vehicles, including the Model X and the Cybertruck. However, the majority of Tesla's vehicles have always been and will continue to be aerodynamic, compact, and streamlined. This is not a complex subject. This assertion is founded on fundamental high school physics, which posits that if the battery is the limiting factor in the performance and profitability of electric vehicles, then all design decisions must be made to optimize the efficiency of the battery pack. Given its standard range battery cell and single-motor rear-wheel drive, the Tesla Model 3 has the highest efficiency of any electric vehicle, according to the EPA combined rating. Driving one mile consumes 255 watt-hours of energy. Currently, a Ford F-150 Lightning equipped with a standard range battery cell will consume 496 watt-hours of energy to travel one mile. Additionally, for the sake of amusement, let us consider the Hummer EV. It would require 674 watt-hours to travel one mile. Therefore, the energy required to travel from point A to point B in a Hummer EV could be expended 2.6 times more efficiently in a Tesla Model 3. The Hummer utilizes nearly three times the quantity of battery material as the Tesla, which has a 57 kilowatt hours battery pack and a 170 kilowatt hours battery pack. The significance of energy efficient vehicles. This is the essence of our assertion that certain brands are not even making an effort. If you are aware that the cost and availability of battery cells will be the most significant constraints on vehicle production, it would be illogical to allocate your time to these extremely inefficient projects, which essentially waste battery resources and achieve nothing. Consider this, the Tesla Semi, a completely loaded long-haul truck that is capable of towing a payload of 80,000 pounds, is consuming 2 kilowatt hours of energy per mile driven. To provide context, this results in a marginally lower efficiency than the Cadillac Escalade V, which consumes 2.3 kilowatt hours per mile driven. Automaker strategies and the Environmental Protection Agency's role. You could argue that this was the inevitable trajectory of the auto industry. However, this was not always explicit. The major manufacturers' marketing initiatives have significantly facilitated this evolution as they sought to capitalize on a new loophole established by the Environmental Protection Agency in 2012. Position your tinfoil headwear. We are about to descend into a rabbit hole. But let us conclude by asserting that Tesla's primary motivation for developing this new vehicle platform, which is smaller and more cost-effective and more efficient than any previous platform, is that it is the key to global dominance. The concept is straightforward in principle, but it is excruciatingly difficult to execute in practice. Consequently, every other existing automaker has been so adamantly opposed to the concept that they have flowed in the opposite direction whenever they have the opportunity. However, this is precisely the objective that Tesla has been striving to achieve throughout its existence. Would you like it? Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more interesting and informative videos.